So today, we've, uh, me and my friend who's holding the camera for me have come to Swindon for a look around. So our first stop hasn't quite gone to plan. We've come to Pop. Unfortunately, it looks like Pop is um, closed down, which is a bit of a shame. So we're going to go jump back in the car and see what we can find next. We have come now to the incredible comic shop in Swindon's Brunel Centre to have a little look around. Got a mate that would love that shield. So that was the incredible comic shop in Swindon. Good place, really nice chap to talk to, saying about the, the difficulties of the, the business with licenses and things of that nature. We'd buy a little, little comic book. Uh, right, let's go and see what we can find next. Next to the incredible comic shop, there's a Warhammer shop, a uh, games workshop. Uh, I'm not massively into that stuff. It's far too fiddly for my stupid fat hands. But I do think that the environments they have in shops are pretty cool. And I think that Transformers would look awesome on those same environments. There was also a sort of a weird sort of goth shop with fairies, but there were some cool schools and things like that inside. As well as the usual suspects of game, entertainer, but um, they didn't have much in. So we've just about given up on Swindon as it goes, but then we saw, driving out, we saw a place called Firestorm Games. So we're gonna check that out. So just a quick addition, whilst we were out, I got a text message from uh, one of the toy shops telling me about another one that we'd missed. Uh, unfortunately, we, I didn't see it until I got back. It's Automatic Comics and Toys, so I'll put a Facebook link down there for them. We did miss them, which is a shame, but hopefully we'll catch them uh, some other time. So that's was wrapped up in Swindon. It was all right. The Incredible Comic Shop's definitely worth a, um, a look. We've been told about a place called um, Planet All Stars, which is in Sirencester, so we're going to go and check that out next. But I think for Swindon, we're done. So we came to Planet All Stars in Sirencester. Um, turns out it's just a room in an antique shop, which goes on forever. It's really confusing antique. Very cool if you like antique stuff. Um, but apparently the actual shop is in Gloucester and not in um, Sirencester anymore. So update your websites, people. It's, you're already a dying read. Don't make yourself hard to find as well. Uh, we're going to have a quick look because it's quite nice in Sirencester, very um, tranquil. We're going to see if there's anything of interest and if not, move on. So in Sirencester, we, uh, we found a little place called Planet Games, which is sort of sold games. So you've seen a picture of that. My friend managed to fall off a, uh, the smallest pavement you'll ever see and twist his ankle. I think we're done in Sirencester. So as the t-shirt says, it's only logical, our travels have now brought us to Gloucester and we're just going into Eastgate Market Hall, so apparently there might be something here. So I think we've found what we're looking for, a couple of subtle clues outside. 
let's head in. It's got a lot of old retro Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the internet's not very good in here. No, no, I found it. Just so you can see, all the pages look like that now. She's there. Chuck. That'll take you to the page. And then if you go back to your search, I'll put Scott's in for you. If you don't mind. Then you could he'll tell you of what he's got. Right. A nice couple of it's, it's also just a day out as well, you know. That's an excuse, isn't it? I haven't liked it, but that's Scott and Emma's okay. uh, business. So I haven't liked it so you might want to like the page. But oh, um, really he nice. does he's got all the vintage Star Wars stuff. So this was Planet All Stars, very cool, very nice people. Their Facebook details will be down there. Uh, they're with their, everything they get goes on Facebook, so definitely worth checking them out. So we're outside Games and Collectibles in Gloucester, so we're just going to have a look around in here now. It's definitely the Games area, but a nice Stormtrooper helmet. There's some really cool stuff in here. It's got like the Kali and uh, yeah, Cyclops. Have a dragon from uh, Do you want Galvatron? Let's have a closer look at that in a minute. I think it's cannons missing. Yeah, yeah, one bedroom flat. There's some alternators back there. Yeah, I mean, I've not been up for a few years, so I've, I've not seen it recently. Brawl, um, some movie stuff, kind of most of the movie the stuff, and some rock lords at the front. I'll have to take a close look at some of those at the back in a minute. Coming down, we've got a Beastmasters Wheeljack movie prime. We've got a Sludge in a Box, G1 Sludge in a Box. Lots of little guys here, mostly movie. Bone Crush, we've got a G1 cup, which is going to have to have some investigation in a moment. Yeah, moving down, it looks like an animated bulkhead. Skids and, or was it Skids or Mudflap? I can't remember which one's which. Some more G1 Dinobots for 25. Well, I said to me, There's my wife a big ratchet at the back uh, there. I'm going to have to have a closer look at him in a moment as well. Um, I said, that, that, little Megatron. Stunning up figures. And then I got a phone call whilst I was at work uh, saying, oh, right, we're all loaded up, ready. Uh, a couple of legends, in. class. What did you want? I said, don't. That's me. Yeah, G1 Cyclonus. I need to have a look at that but, one in a minute. Uh, but this place has got all sorts of turtles and. Power Rangers, and Marvel, wrestling figures, there's a lot here. So uh, that shop's got a little bit of everything. I did pick up a little Megatron, because I just thought it was kind of cool. Uh, it is cash only, be aware. But other than that, it's well worth, they've got everything. Remember, if you were a kid and you had like A-team figures, they got like a Mad Murdoch and stuff in there, it's all sorts. Really well worth checking out. So that was Gloucester. I personally have a feeling there's more to Gloucester than what we've seen today. I think there's a few more hidden gems around here. I have that feeling. Um, but yeah, it's been a long day, so we are we are done, for, and that wraps it up for this video. But yeah, there's been some good stuff. All links of everywhere we've been will be down in the description. And yeah, that's today's little toy tour. Bye, Bye.